Hello, my name is Paul Jimenez, support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft. Today I'm going to show you how to load two heat dumps and compare details using Visual VM. From my last video, I showed you how to gather heat, two heat dumps using Visual VM. So today I'm going to show you how to compare the two. So in my example, I have two captured heat dumps here. The first one's from last Tuesday. Now this heat dump has some information of a normal environment. I didn't do anything too stressful. I just let it run normally. Uh, all the information is there. Uh, I didn't have too many reports running, anything like that. So this is just your standard environment without too much stress on it. And this other heaped up I have here, the second one I have I gathered today with a stress test in place as well as a lot of reports running and all the other information you might need. And so as you can see just right off the bat, Obviously this has way less incidents running as well as the size is a lot smaller than this one. And so this is a real simple test that you can see and compare both of them. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this function right here is compare one with another heap dump. So you click on that option here and you can select which one you'd like. Um, the last one I had was at 318 so that's the one I'm going to use. And so here you can see all the information is loaded. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sort this by the top. Uh, so since I am sorting on my efficient first dump here, the one taken at 1220 last Tuesday, this one is going to show you that on this side, it's obviously a lot more efficient running these. It took up a lot less instances, as you can see, even on the top one, negative 92,000, and the size was negative 22 million. So as you can see from information here, that this instance, the first one we're looking at, this one, is a lot more efficient than this other one we're comparing it to, as you can see by the green. So you can look through all of it. Just overall, it was just way more efficient. Uh, again, I didn't have any stress tests running or anything running uh, to really conflict with it. And so for this one, this normal instance, it's running just normally. And while the other one uh, was running, I was doing the stress test, as you can see in another video that I made. Um, it was running 15 different reports by 15 users. And so all that information is there for you to look at. And so what I like to do is I like to look at this first one and compare it with the more efficient one. So obviously I see here that this one is running way more efficient than the second one. And so this one is the less efficient environment that had the stress test going on. And so if you use here, compare with another heap dump, we'll choose the older one. And this will kind of show you the other size of the heap dump. This one was last Tuesday at 1220. Hit OK. And so as you can see, it's pretty much an inverse to this one. If you want to compare it to. So what it is, is whichever heap dump you have selected, it's going to use that one as a baseline and then compare it with another one. So for this one, I'm comparing the more efficient dump to the non-efficient dump. And that's what's showing this green here. And all the green means, you know, obviously this, this heat dump is way better than the other one. And you can compare and contrast. This is really good information to have if you're trying to see the stress that you're having or any other information you'd like to see, you know, uh, your environment efficient versus non-efficient. If it's slow, you can kind of see why it's a slowdown. Um, for this one, for example, this class name is running a lot more efficiently and a lot more faster than the other one. So this other heat dump is a total inverse of the other one. Um, this one had, yeah, as you can see, negative 92,000. This one is plus 92,000. And so this one is uh, comparing the inefficient one to the efficient environment. And so as you can see here, it has a lot more instances in size running. And uh, it's an exact inverse to this one. And so if this is what your environment looks like now, you can kind of compare it to what it looks like with less users using it, as well as, you know, what it might be running when you have downtime. And again, this information is very useful to have if you want to compare two different instances or just heat dumps in general. Um, if one day you have a really, your uh, environment is running really efficiently, see, efficiently like this one and then your other one's running slow like this one, you can compare the two and kind of see what the slowdown is occurring as well as see if any special, you know, specific class is slowing it down. Um, for example, you know, if this one is a lot more here than it is in this other one, maybe that's the root cause of why it's slowing down or maybe even cause of memory leak. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.